Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your monthly love forecast for November. What does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, what do they secretly want to tell you? So this is going to be for singles, couples, anyone in between or anyone who needs love messages. Let's find out what they want to tell you that you don't know about. And this is going to be for any person that you turn on this video for, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to do a nine card spread on what do they secretly want to tell you? And then we're going to look at what is the potential outcome for you guys? All right, and this is gonna be for November. If you guys are interested in the one for October, that's up and available right now. You guys can watch that. It's in the playlist right now for you to watch. All right, and thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. If you would like to become a member, all you do is click the join button below. The Eye of Zen is up on amazon.com, and I wanna thank all of you guys that have posted those beautiful reviews. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. All right, and I have a free reading contest going on. All the details are at the end. If you're interested in the personal reading, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com. They'll be opened back up again in November, but you can find information on my website. All right, so let's jump right in here, Capricorn. And also, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's one of my Capricorns? Love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does Capricorns love interest? secretly want to tell Capricorns for the month of November. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So, and also guys, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. Wow, these are some beautiful, beautiful cards. Beautiful cards, Capricorn. Beautiful, beautiful cards. And then we get the tower. Oh my goodness. All right. But yeah, there's some beautiful cards here. For you guys. Really nice energy. I don't know what's up with the last two cards there, but for, for so, so far, it's very nice cards. It's like this, so far I can feel from this person, they are... They feel like there's a deeper connection between you guys, that there is a, definitely a calming emotional uh, connection between you. And it's like you guys enjoy being around each other, spending time. Um, and it's like a very peaceful kind of energy. Um, and, and I feel like this person is really serious here too as well. You know, they want something serious with you. And this person wants some sense of a decision around this. So, cause we come into the first card, which is justice. So they want to tell you that they want some kind of decision. Okay, justice can talk about marriage, divorce, just truth, just decision, okay? They want a balanced decision and they want a truth to be, to, to, to be realized here about the fact that you make them happy, 10 of cups energy. And they're really hopeful that they can fulfill their desires, that there's something deeper here, they can fill their dreams with you, okay? Cause that's the, the star energy is, fulfillment of dreams, okay? Hopeful energy, a spiritual connection, star card energy. So we're gonna use the old style Lenormand, and also, I know you guys are gonna ask me, so I'll just tell you right now, this is the card deck for the Tarot. I know it's a very pretty deck. Uh, the Tarot of the mystic, Mystical Moments. Okay, so let's start right in here. So what does Capricorn's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, what does Capricorn's love interest secretly want to tell Capricorns for the month of November? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So the first card here, I feel like there's a sense of structure and order, and I feel like there's a sense of justice that this person wants to talk about. And then this card here, I feel like there's this peaceful, calming situation where it's like they want to come together with you. They're looking at signs. They're seeing that there's something really deeper between you guys. And there, the star card is confirming that, that there's, there's hopes for dreams to be fulfilled here. You know, a deeper connection, star card energy. So we see house, entry, and scythe. And again, the tree can be a spiritual card as well, by the way. It can, it's a healing card, but it's also a, a spiritual card. So it's like they want a decision about this house a stable situation, okay, a stable connection in healing towards happiness or spiritual happiness with you and making a decision to fulfill wishes, fulfill dreams. 
Wow, so, so far, as I told you guys, very pretty, very nice. Nice connection here. Okay, and then we go further on this. We're gonna use the eyes then now. Capricorns, love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. Capricorns, love interest. What does Capricorns, love interest, secretly want to tell Capricorns, November? Cards need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Also, I always go by omens as well. And right now I'm hearing an engine rev up. So I feel like they, they want something to get started here. Okay, so going further, they want a decision because they want to bring things into balance about a, the stable connection. They're stressing about their happiness and healing this connection. They want to go out here and make a decision. They want to interact, socialize with you, go out and make this decision here because they're trying to be hopeful of a positive outcome with you guys. And let me just move these guys out the way. Go over there, crystals. Stay over there. Okay. And then this crystal wants to just be like right out there. Okay. So we see that the Ace of Pentacles is saying they want, a, they want to tell you, they want to give you a huge offer here, Ace of Pentacles energy, and good news about love. And they want to gain clarity about this with the Ace of Swords energy, and also the key is in the cards. It tells me there's something important here about this. That they're seeing that there's repeating patterns with you and them, and they want some kind of opportunity here. We can see that Ace of Pentacles for this path of love, this new path in love, this message of love, this good news of love. And they do have love for you. They want to tell you that. Their burden and challenge, cross card energy, because of these delays for a long time, okay? And they want to be happy here with you, Capricorn. And they want something huge to change. They want a breakthrough here in this relationship, soulmate connection, okay? This person wants family and long-term commitment four wands energy or something to do with family and long-term commitment, excuse me, something to do with marriage, a stable relationship, something stable here, and romance or success around that. They were really shocked and surprised. They want to tell you about this, the fact that they were shocked and surprised about this very giving energy here with the six of pentacles or how giving you are. Mm. Capricorn, they're concerned about the fact that you give your attention or help to others possibly too much there it's really shocking surprised them okay so there's something to do with this romance and choices and something to do with a lack of flexibility or strong desires here for to bring things into balance they've really looked at this deeply and they want to be honest with you about these these things that have been shocking and surprising to them about this decision or indecision and so they're going to be patient here. They want you to know that they're willing to accept delay and be patient here for things to come into balance because of this lack of flexibility, this lack of these challenges here with the snake card energy or because they have strong desire here. So let's go for it here. It's saying that they want to tell you that they want to bring things into balance because of their happiness. So they've really been looking at things deeply. They're stressing here because they, they feel shocked about this deception. There's something to do with people here, family, friends, socializing, or another person in a relationship that they're trying to be patient about. Okay. Going further in this Capricorn. This house, this stable situation is a burden and a challenge when it comes to romance or something to do with house and family. There's something, yeah, because a group of people could be, um, you know, the, the socializing card could be like the garden card energy in the sense of family or friends. They want to heal things or they want to give it some time to grow because there's delays and a choice. They want to make a decision after some wisdom here or some patient energy because of these strong desires or lack of flexibility, snake card energy. So Capricorn, they want you to make a decision about this huge opportunity here for a long-term commitment when it comes to a marriage or a long-term relationship. You make them very happy and they want to tell you this good news about love, 
but something really shocked and surprised them. They want to fulfill their, their wishes, their hopes, their dreams, and they need clarity here so that things can come into balance. Okay, so let me now move this out of the way and let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be some contemplation, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, about feelings. And then there's going to be communication that's going to happen that's going to bring some movement here in this connection. And then we see that there's still going to be some indecisions here with the Two of Swords energy and someone's going to be like, well, if you can see by the card, it looks like someone's being a blockhead, okay? <laughs> that's, what, that's what it looks like, okay? And it looks like there's these two birds that are trying to work it out, but this one person doesn't want to deal with it, so they don't want to face it. We got the letter card energy, the heart card energy, and the bear card energy. So there's going to be a letter, a message, a document of love, a romantic love message, because someone wants to take control of this, okay? We see that this letter will be very healing. <laughs> and we see potentially there's going to be some passionate chemistry exercises there, okay? There's a want to make an effort here. Okay, so it looks like one person's like, all right, you know what? I really want to take control of this. You know, we have love here. There's going to be a message that's going to be sent out. But there's still going to be some indecisions here uh, or lack of strength in making the effort, okay? So be, it's like still some things yet to be decided because of this indecision. Okay, so there's contemplation about emotions and then a letter comes in which is very healing. There's a communication about love and chemistry. And then we see there's some indecisions about strength or courage in making the effort. Okay, so a little bit of a cliffhanger I know for November, but when I bring out the November reads, you'll be able to see the whole November uh, reading. So get a better understanding of what's gonna happen here for the whole month of November. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Um, the next reading is coming out. We can do um, their true intentions, whether true and long and term intentions. We can find out like, are they interested in a long term relationship or not? All right, and also we can we can either we can do that or we can do what their true feelings towards you. So let me know in the comments below which one you want to do next. And then after that, we're going to do weeklies because I want to stay on schedule. And um, for the readings that are up and available for you guys to watch right now is who is your soulmate? Why did they ghost you? Uh, the monthlies are up, uh, which includes love, career, and finance, and health and wellness. Weeklies, bi-weekly, singles, and um, you guys can go check it out. It's in the playlist. There's so many readings for you guys to check out. You know how I got, how I am. I post all the time. So um, for the free reading contest, all you guys have to do is put Twin Flames in the comments below, picking two people for a free personal reading. I love you guys so much. I'll be making that announcement soon. Actually, it's coming up at the end of uh, October, and I'll put the announcement of who it was in the community tab, so stay tuned for that. Love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your month, Capricorns, and I will see you guys 